Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with the Ancient Symbolism series, the Sword, Shield, Helmet, and Breastplate. An article taken from Rosicrucian Digest, Volume 13, Number 7, August 1935. The Sword, Shield, Helmet, and Breastplate the early armor of man has often been used symbolically and allegorically in classical, philosophical, and ecclesiastical literature. The following are allegorical biblical references to the armor of a warrior. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and, having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 13 through 17. It is infrequent that allegories of the Christian Bible may be interpreted in the same sense mythically, but in this instance, they may be without any loss of value and without suffering a limitation of meaning. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.